germ killer over there that I want you to put on, okay? So what you do is you put it, you take it and you um, rub it on your face like this and then your hands as well, okay? Um, preferably that because I think that those also could have germs as well, okay? So, you know, you can't, you know, count how many people that I have screamed at for this and have lectured and I'm sick and tired of having to deal with it and I, you know, I don't want you to give me an argumentative uphill battle and a hard time and I don't mean to be prejudiced in any way towards any ethnicity but you um you know if you're not you know a dime a dozen, then you really need to not blow that, okay? Because I'm a very, very open-minded and kind and understanding person, uh, and I would not squander that, okay? So don't represent yourself in a bad way. Don't represent yourself as someone who would do me harm, you know, Weeping, you know, all those types of things because we are not a doctoral center facility. This is not a hospital. So these are the conditions and the rules that you need to respect. Also, if you should come in here with one of those things, then it can't be a medically working one. Now, um, Well, I used to do that. I don't think that I'm going to do that anymore. Because it's just been happening too much for me to have that same respect that I used to. But, you know, I, I, I'm really, really sick and tired of it. I've, you know, screamed and shouted and fought and, you know, had that file. I, I've lost that file in me about it. So I don't want to do that. But if you can't follow the rules and not do what I'm asking you to do, which is so simple and you know, not ridiculous, then, well, you need to leave. You need to leave. You know, if you heal, which is normal, apart from the rest of the world, if I am to connect with you, have a conversation with you, really bond and take you professionally, seriously, uh, and to add a little, uh, you know, icing on the cake, you know, sprinkles on top of, you know, the cake. Will you born? Okay. Well, that is an additional part of that. Okay. Um, because I know, uh, I'm, you know, I know a friend of my friend, Lubimbi's Bell Book, you know, Lubimbi Bell Book, who is also... Hispanic and you know they were with each other to Spain several times and you know she learned Spanish you know the culture and bullfighting and they had wonderful experiences together um and that relationship held up for so long because there was just just you know it, it, it just flowed so well since they're both very I mean very down to earth uh, individuals and, um, well, it, we, you know, I, I, I'm not her, so I don't exactly know the details, and I don't think that I need to tell you, but anyway, I just want to get on with why you have come here, why you've come here. Now, earlier today, we did meet, and we did have an appointment. I was talking about 
something that is not pleasant, that should not be discussed, heal, or any rule for that matter, except at a hospital. You have no idea how fortunate you should be that I was sitting in there, talking through, willing one of those things about something that was inappropriate, that was disgusting, with someone who was formed. You have no idea. You got the longest end of the stick. Because I could have said something or done something that you would have not appreciated and I could have been very, very assertive and spoke my mind and hearing this and that. I didn't because I was just not feeling that way. I wanted to, you know, get done and I just, you know, but that's the reason why I call people back here to the amendment is I'm not the type of person who sits idly by for something in my heart and in my mind that I want to make clear with them. I'm not that type of person. And, you know, that's why, you know, so many people come here. You know, not because of those reasons. But, you know, certain individuals, have, for me, have certain motivations, feelings, thoughts toward those individuals, belovedly, or needing to, you know, give them a piece of my mind and my beliefs, for that matter. So, that's why... I have put lesson on respecting foreign um, ethnicities. Now, everybody, I just want you to notice how I was coming in and how I was saying that. I just want you to notice how um, carefully I was saying that and how tactful I was saying that. I just want you all to recognize that. And I hope that you heard and recognized that I certainly did. Okay? Um, but that can last for a certain amount of time before, you know, that goes out the window. Um, so, you know, uh, welcome to the event. And it's, uh, it's nice to have you here. I won't overwhelm that. I won't sugarcoat it. But I will, you know, welcome you to the Minton. So, anyway, I've already kind of given a glimpse into this already, so I'm just going to finish what I started out. Now, um, when you go to the doctor and you discuss matters that are private, that are embarrassing, that are disgusting, and when you think certain things, when you find a certain, I mean, you know, some bowels or accent about a certain, you know, person and no accent that, you know, especially being, you know, foreign, you know, then it wastes an opportunity, and it wastes you know, the excitement and the, um, I mean, you know, just the meeting someone new if, you know, you're talking about, oh, I don't know, <laughs> I don't even know, um, how to place that better, so I'm not gonna say anything. Um, but that's just, um, a little lesson because you can swandle so much of yourself if you continue. I'm not saying get out of the medical profession, but I am saying find a different area if you are the way you are. If you're born in Spain or South America, if you have that kind of accent, if you have that kind of voice, you need to spill yourself. You really do. I'm afraid that everything I will take with a grain of salt. That is a lesson to all of you. To take things that someone that you don't necessarily approve of. You need to take, you know, 
what they say with a grain of salt. That is the least that you could do. You know, I don't teach you all to fulfill with somebody that you don't like, you disagree with. Because I do not believe in being the yes person and, you know, I'm not that way. Yeah, I can do it, but that's not going to last very long before I'm going to get sick and tired of it. And that's going to change. So, um, let me tell you that if you want to continue, you need to find a better area, a more pleasant area that would mix better with your race, skin color, ethnicity, accent, those types of things. Now, it's a good thing. It's a very, very good thing. And I don't mean anything by this at all. When I say, but, you know, you will have to admit, I don't mean anything by this. I don't mean anything prejudice against this. However, it is a darn good thing. You were not born in, let's see, Bibi Bois, Bois, country in Africa, Sudan, all those places. I don't mean to say anything bad because that is not who I am. And I would never, ever, ever do that. I will say that based off of the color, the skin, I'm not saying it's bad or anything like that, but I'm facing the reality of it. I have thoughts and it's okay to have thoughts. It's okay to say things. And if you have a tactful intention, that means that you need to take the person who, um, who would come across as to them, not how you intended in a negative way, also with a grain of salt. Particularly if they are individuals like Dr. Carl Owe, Carl whatever your name is. Because it does resemble the it resembles basically the model of things that you that I was looking at on hung up on the wall. In that office. You know what I'm talking about. I don't want to say it. You know. You know and I know. Don't say it. It is a darn good thing. Darn good thing. Because if you were that, you would have no idea what kind of things that I would say. No idea. I would become a crazy person. I would be very, very crazy. I would say things that you probably would not imagine that I would say. So, at least you have that winning for you. But, you need to find another area. You can be an autometrist. You can be um, a dentist. You know, but it can't be your area. Otherwise, you need to become fluent in speaking in an American accent. I am dead serious when I say that. 
know, it's great that there was, you know, diversity. People who look like that, who do, you know, were born in this country that have broken accents. That's fine. I'm not a racist person. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. No way. Ab absolutely not. That will be the very last thing that I would be. The very last thing I can assure you. However, I will tell you that there is a line there. There is a thread. And you would better not pull or strain the thread. You would better not break the thread. There's a line that you are not going to cross when it comes to what you say. So, do I make myself clear? So, you know, you can do what you need to do. You can go back to college, study a new area, do it all over again. I gave you your options, I will give them again. Either become fluent, speaking a American accent, and learn up on the language and the history and culture more. And B, go into another medical area. Those are your options. But you cannot, cannot continue what you're doing. And you certainly not do it during these times with the chill on top of the Sunday you willing and ask blocks as I said the identity and connection now, even if you're talking about unpleasant matters then that takes it to a whole nother level. Now, I don't mean to be mean, but we're not going to be the person who talks about trashy matters. You are not going to be that person. You are not going to be that person. Out of the anxieties that I've had to deal with last year, with those annoying thoughts that kept coming up, when I knew Ava, and where she came from, it's a darn good thing. A darn good thing that this is not happening last year, that we didn't get to know each other last year, but even so, you are doing yourself an injustice, and you should stop before you make it a thousand times worse than it is. So I believe that that's it. I believe that I've made my point clear, crystal clear. Now, uh, I want you to leave. You can have a wonderful evening. Um, and again, you can talk about anything, but it cannot be that. It cannot be that or any unpleasant matter with that accent. Now, not that I dislike it. I dislike it. But you're ruining it. You are ruining it. Don't you realize that you're ruining that? You are ruining a God-given thing. So we take the high road.
I'm sure that there was not a lot of doctors in that area because who would want to talk about such unpleasant business? Well, let me tell you. They certainly do not need to be a doctor born somewhere Hispanic, let alone African or African American. like something that I should be dreaming about in a nightmare. Someone would have the nerve being who they are. Not any ne I don't mean any negatives toward it, but being who they are. Going in there. I should have dreamt that in my sleep and woke up knowing that there's a lot of comfort that that did not happen. That should have happened. That should have happened. And the fact that it didn't is me being Hannah going through the genocide in World War II. It should not be possible, and it will not be possible. I'm putting my foot down, and you are finding another area, another job. It can be in the medical doctor world. But it could not be that airy. I made that crystal clear. And therefore, you're going to consider it. Ultimately, you're going to do it. So I need you to leave. That should be the very last thing at the most extremes that would happen. not happen again. If I go through one of those experiences, it will change. And that person will change. And I will make sure of that. If only I could be entranced and charm listening to you connect that you really might think and you were talking about unpleasant business. And that was the very first time we met. Recipe for disaster, everybody. So you need to take some time and reflect and change. Good night. Okay. So, let's see here. Uh, never you mind. Never you mind. Do you really want to know? Both of you out of here. This will be too embarrassing. Besides myself, and I'm not putting any prejudice against me and my identity. Okay, you know what? You don't need to know about it. You don't need to know about it. It's not... It's why... Why am I doing this. This is not your concern. This does this, this, this not involve you. Get back in. No, no. Question someone when it's not your business. It's not your concern. It did not happen to you. Okay, are you going to continue? Are you going to continue, or do you need to take pink and leave the womb? Okay, you do not, you are not going to tell me how to act, how to do my job, how to treat people. That is not your place. That is not your place. Don't go there. Don't push my buttons.
I do not appreciate that. You do that one more time, and you're going to go out of the room. I'm not going to put up with it. Okay. Oh, you could keep making this an uphill battle. Stop rocking the boat and making difficulties. I, I'm going to lose my mind. Stop making fun of me. Stop making fun of me now. This instant. I feel like this is going to be a circular thing that's going to keep on going and going and going. And it's not going to, you know, get resolved. So, you know what? Oh. Leave the room. Nobody acts like that. Nobody tweets an immense way like that. Will you talk to the Queen of... It, would you talk to Queen Elizabeth II, Queen of England like that? Would you tweet her and, you know... Do bad things to her and make a mockery of her like you think to me. Would you do that? I'm asking you. Would you do that? Well, you shouldn't do that to me because that's... When you... When you're here at the inventing, you should have that mindset. You should have the etiquette that you would have in the Queen of England's palace. When you come here. When you're here at this premises, at this inventing, that behavior is despicable and rude and unacceptable, to say the very least. If you're gonna belittle and nitpick every little thing, you can leave. You can leave. Stop saying things that are not true. Stop accusing me of things that I didn't do. You don't do that to people, including myself. You should know better. <sighs> um... You know what? He doesn't deserve that. He's not gonna do that. Certainly not in the mood that I'm in right now. No way. No way. I was in a certain mode, but you know what? I, um, I don't think so. So that's, that idea's out the window. Alright, everybody. So, um, the next thing is Supergirl. And you'll find that the actress who plays her is a lot like Teddy Duncan. Which men were the actress who played her because like Charlie. So, it is a series based off of Superman, which a long time ago, we have seen the movie and we, we recently 